Hello guys, it's Andy the GD Script Dude with another video about tool scripts in Godot Engine. We add tool to the top of our scripts to make them work in the, the editor. But let's see what happens without this first of all. We're going to be looking at the output window down here in the editor, but let's clear it out for now. And let's do control s just to make sure we've saved our scene i've got a script called tool it just shows a label with a message with a text of default in it and then if we look at the script it extends a control which is that node there and it has a child of label so let's see what we've got if we click there we've got click on tool sorry the, the parent node we have our text uh, exported value and it is a script it, it is a it is a, a string with a default as the default string which you can see from the export here I've added the type of it of this export which is string the var is called text and default value is set here with text equals default and then when we change it we're going to call a setter and getter function so we have to put set get after this with the names of our functions to do the setting and getting so it starts with set as you can see there it should be set first set text and here's our function set text and of course it gets past the value for the text value which I'm just calling s here and then to diagnose what is going on printing to the output window here we're going to go print set text to whatever this value is of s and then we have to actually assign this var here text with the value that is passed in of s otherwise it won't be updated so we just go text equals s and then we we're gonna go we want to set the label to the value of it because we just updated it via the top top part here the, the parent node this is why we're gonna need a tool tool feature of it because if we do that we go var label equals it won't be available in all cases especially it won't be available at all times in the editor so we're going to go var label equals get node or null so and we specify the the name of this node which is called label and then this this function here get node or null returns either a reference to the label or the null value so if we go in the next line it's actually called if if label label is uh, interpreted as a valid value or null null gets uh, gets transformed to the boolean of not if it is null so if it's if the, if there's actually a label then we're going to print we're just setting the label text and then we will actually do that we'll go label which is that value which is not null the text value of it will be set to the value of s which was passed in here which was obtained from this place here okay so let's change it to something let's go hello hello for its value yep did it but our label didn't change did it it'd be nice if it did let's check here it's not changed i mean what am i talking about anyway let's change now let's go in there let's make it a tool script Mem remember that the value of the label did not change 
So if we type tool, it makes it into a. See, we've got lots of messages in the album with no set text. This is like internal to the engine. See, it's a bit grayed out. Like it's just saying it was setting the the uh, internal value of the export bar there. But if we clear that out and notice we haven't saved our script yet. Sorry, this is a small or no small text. Anyway, let's um, control S to save this. And look, when we did that, because it's a tool, it's already doing stuff. It's setting text to, uh, well, it, it output this value, right? This uh, message to the output window, set text to hello. And if we see set text, yeah, there it is in our set text function it it printed out that it was doing that and then it said set text label text which means that it, the label was valid in that case now we have this let's just review this function this um script it's the it's called tool.gd at the top i've got tool it extends the control because the, the parent is the control node. Then it exports this, this bar. I've specified the type, which is not necessary, but it makes it easier to understand when people are reading through your code that this is exporting a string variable. And the variable is called text and it has a default value. And I've called it, I've put the string of default as that value. And then following that, there's set get to specify. That's a engine keyword to specify, to say that next we're going to specify at a minimum the setter function name, followed by the getter. So the set set the function name is set text and this is our function there it expects to receive a value for the text because we're setting it to something we print out this diagnostic message to the output window and we actually do the, the setting of the text var there to s rather than the default value and we set the label now this is where the tool comes in because it's happening in the environment of just the editor not the running the game so it will update the label it will get the var of the label with this function of get node or null and if the label is valid it's not null we were, we're going to print the yeah, but we know that we're setting the text label and we'll actually do it we go label text parameter equals s so that happens via this export thing there and then another thing okay the, sorry there's the next thing we get we implement the get text that's when you want something wants to know what is this text value via the the actual instance of this this node so we will call this it's like self dot get the value jumping ahead of myself here anyway the get text function is implemented here it's very simple and we're going to print to the output window that this function was called we're going to go get text we we'll print that out equals the actual value and then it needs to return the value of course so it returns the value of the text bar and now we also gonna add the ready function which is in any any really any scene uh, script and we're gonna print out 
ready with text equals the value of the text just so we can log when this is called okay so let's uh, close we do that if we just close that here we closed it we we closed the scene there we're still in the editor let's clear the output window and now let's open this tool scene again by double clicking it double click and see what happened the editor itself outputted a message of switching scene tab and then we see our our diagnostic messages being displayed we got set text to hello so it it was setting the text to our exported value see there we set it to hello <laughs> I've messed it up by uh, actually causing more outputs to be done let's do it again shall we let's close that and uh, let's open our thing again in, in the editor so we get a switch scene tab and then we set it called our function for setting the text to hello and then uh, after that the ready function was called because we output this message when we hit the ready function it says it's hello and then there are four calls to the get you get a function I don't know why it does it four times you'd think that once would be enough wouldn't you but anyway that's something to bear in mind pro tip if you're running code in your getter bear in mind that it be may be called more than more times than you expect in this case four times yeah i don't know why that is and so that is uh that thing and then let's clear this now it's open our script is open we click that just to check on this text uh export field there we got nothing it did it didn't cause any outputs there now let's change this let's go if we click this little reverse circle it reverts our hello value to the default hang on a minute we haven't actually got the value there hmm, what is that default is default and okay let's uh let's change something let's go ding. yeah look it's responding now because it's uh it's a script it's a tool script okay so let's uh control s to save we've changed it to hello let's close that down let's open it again in the in the editor and see it's remembered it it's stored in the scene now if we want to revert back to the what it the default value is which is called default dink, see that it's actually updated as well because it's a tool script now if we click here to run the scene it will display default see it's got it we've done it we've updated in the editor this label from the the root node so let's uh, do something else let's uh, I've created another scene here open it up this scene instantiates it has an instance of uh, I can actually delete and do it again I think yeah why not delete that let's uh, add this is called a this is just a s node 2d called scene with nothing in it let's add a child node but instance a child scene let's instance a tool scene open and then it pops up with its value default let's do control s because it's not been saved still default let's run this scene default shows up and look at this if we go to the tool scene and we're going to change this to hello for example we change that now what's going to happen oh we've got to save as well control s to save let's go back to our scene 
Is it going to be default or hello? It's updated automatically to hello. Isn't that cool? How about if we change the value in this scene? The scene which has an instance of the tool tool scene. Let's do something else. Let's go good by see it. and control S to save it. This is all being done in the editor, remember? And it looks like this has been updated nicely. And if we go back to tool, what do you think? Will it have changed the tool? Late? No, it's still at hello, see? Hello. And if we uh, click on reset to the default, oh, that's gone default. Again, we need to save it. These say these saves are going into the scene, right? And let's go back to the scene, this scene. Do you think it will be default or tool or, I mean, or, or one of the other things we did like hello or goodbye, which will it be? It should be goodbye. And it is. Okay, so what happens if we reset this one? That will go to default because it's underlying scene that it was instanced from this tool is now default okay let's change that to hello save it control s and go back to the scene which was we reset it then we to the default value of the tool scene so it should be hello and it is hello. We can run it, view it, it is hello. <laughs> kind of fun, huh? So, in this one, let's, it's the default at the moment of the underlying scene, so change it to goodbye again. Control S to save. And let's go back to tool, it is hello. And that's basically all there is to it, you know, if you can get wrap your head around this, you know, we have our scene, the tool, tool scene here, which um, has a default value of this default text. And we've changed it to something. Should I risk opening uh, code OS? I can do that, I think. Yeah, this you can see in uh, the scene files, you get a lot of things saved as in as data. Look there, for example, your text. Can I zoom in? No, I can't. We got like text value there. Like this is in my other project. You can see that a scene file stores these customizations in there as parameters. Yeah, anyway, not to confuse you, hopefully you can get this, understand, and uh, yeah, so like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in another, in another video. Cheers, guys, okay, take care.